Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. I hope you're all safe and doing well. I'm Hazel's mama and this is our first video with voiceover. For those of you lovely people who do follow us, Hazel Noah is now 11 and a half months old and active as ever. For anyone new, this, this channel is primarily about our son Hazel Noah and his adventures and our life surrounding him, so do subscribe for more videos. However, in this video, we will be doing a quick unboxing and review of the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 used with an iPhone 11 Pro Max and we will also compare it with the DJI Osmo Action Camera. A quick note, we won't be getting into too much te technicalities of the devices. So here I am unboxing the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. We bought this for about 150 Australian dollars. There is a combo option available which was about 180 Australian dollars again and which included a tripod but since we already had a tripod we didn't buy the combo option. The Osmo Mobile 3 on its own uh, comes with a charging cable, instruction book and a protective fabric bag. So once you've unpacked uh, and you have you have to download the DJI Mimo app and then connect it to your phone and then you're good to go. So here is the DJI Osmo Action Camera. We actually bought this a couple of months ago for about 500 and Australian dollars. This camera is the first to have a screen at the front and it's waterproof up to six meters deep. We have used this camera a number of times and um, have videos for it in our channel so if you'd like to see them do check it out in our channel. I will link them up above. Moving on, here we did a simple side-by-side -side of the Osmo Mobile with an iPhone and the Osmo Action. Uh, as you will be able to see throughout the video, the Osmo Mobile is able to give you a much better stability as it is able to counteract the manual handling of the camera. In terms of camera quality, you can see that iPhone has a more vibrant view compared to the Osmo Action. Both cameras were set for 4K quality to equally compare. So the next few clips is just the difference between the iPhone with the Osmo Mobile and the Osmo Action for you to judge.
uh, we recommend if you have a smartphone with a decent camera quality then all you really need is an Osmo Mobile which is much cheaper than the action camera but if you're into action and water sports then Osmo Action is the more appropriate camera to buy. So thank you guys for watching. We hope that this video helps you in making your decision in whether to buy an action camera or just the Osmo Mobile 3. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos. Take care and see you next time.